everybody. Welcome to another episode of Women Locked Up Before and After. I am back and I'm going to try to, from now on, try to start um, bringing you more content. I haven't had much going on here lately, or I have had a lot going on here lately because of moving into my apartment. And uh, I finally got a um, love seat and stuff, so I'll show that again on another video. But right now, um, I got this idea of this video, um, but it's for, um, well, but Josh from Lockdown 23 and 1, he gave me this idea because it, it has a, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in a women's prison in a fellowship, or if you want to call it church, um, just Bible studies, whatever, any of those, this goes on that I'm going to be talking about. It's very interesting, and I uh, wanted to talk about this issue because it happens all the time, and it's really disrespectful, but we're talking about women going to church, and some of them, the reasons why they sh should not be going, and they do, but they... The things they do when they go, put it that way. Um, probably just now getting my notification. No, that's just an email. Anyway, uh, what we're going to be talking about is that in a women's prison, <coughs> how things are pretty bad or can get bad. Um, anyway, uh, while I was in CMCF, which is Central Mississippi Cor Correctional Facility, we had uh, options to go to church and, or we go to Bible study on certain different nights of the week or whatever. Now, when you're in yellow jumpsuit, as we talked about before in other videos, when you're in yellow jumpsuit, there's some uh, things you can do. You can only go to church like once a week and they do that in the dining hall when nobody's in there and it's really packed up. But, and then again, the same thing happens there also. And I don't think they're ever going to be able to stop that. Um, they tried to a while back, but let's, let's, let's talk about the issue first. And I'll talk about that after that. Um, but I'm going to try to make this a shorter video this time. But anyway, when I was in prison, uh, one of the three times I was in prison, <laughs> well, all three times it happened, but let's just get down to it. Um, I didn't go for a while because I heard about the things that was going on and that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to go. Well, this one girl talked me into it and one night I actually went because I, I wanted to see what it was like and everything because I've been reading my Bible and everything, you know, and I wanted to hear the word. <laughs> uh, at least have some, you know, some some faith and hope, you know, because I had a lot of stuff going on in my life and still do to this day, but not like it was when I was locked up. I mean, I had some really bad times locked up if y'all watched my videos and other videos, but and seen it. But anyway, um, I went and we all had lined up and they hollered, church, church. <laughs> And uh, I went and I sat beside my friend and everything because I never went in there before, you know, I was kind of like, I don't know about this. And there were th these women that was there, but there was more men, it seemed like there was than women, like far as the p people from the church, because women don't go to church with men, never. And um, anyway, uh, also, if you uh, watch the video where it says Rob with me to prison and it shows a virtual tour, like I go on the map thing, like 3D thing, view or whatever. Anyway, I'm dragging on again. Uh, it shows where the, the, uh, the chapel is, but that's not where you go to church. The men go to church there now. The women used to go to church there, but I've never been there before in that chapel. I heard it was really nice and everything, but I've never been in there. But anyway, I I sit down there. And of course, you can't leave whenever you want to. You can kind of 
get the guard's attention if you need to use the bathroom and then they'll actually walk with you to the bathroom until you get done. But you can't go back to the zone uh, or to the building if you want to call it. If you want, if you feel uncomfortable or whatever, you have to wait it out. Well, that's what happened to me. I wound up having to, having to wait it out and not wanting to hear anything else after, I mean, I wanted to hear it, but not see what I saw. Um, half, the, half of the women that went to church only went to see their girlfriends. And it's not just that, it's, the, it's I saw things they were doing in church that were so disrespectful. And how are you supposed to sit there and listen to the word when you have people who are literally touching each other inappropri inappropriately and writing letters back and forth. I mean, literally, you hear the paper all rattle and everything. You hear giggling and that they'll even giggle at or laugh at the preacher or whatever, it's, you know, and I just, is it really disrespectful the way they treated, I mean, anybody other, let, let alone the people who come there all that way to spread the word or whatever, and that's what you're supposed to be there for is listen to the word, but I mean, I'm, I'm not bringing on a channel for, I mean, a channel, <laughs> I'm not bringing on a um, video to promote, uh, like, just you know, well, what do you want to call it? Worship or whatever, you know, but I'm talking about this because this is a issue that needs to be addressed and needs to be fixed in the prison system because people who actually do want to do that, do want to go to church and stuff and do want to change their life around can't do it because the things that happen when you're locked up. Uh, I mean, while you're in there and see these things, I'm sure that if anybody else has been to prison, and seeing now in our county jail here they're kind of like that in a way i mean the only thing you don't see though is you don't see the only thing you'll see is eye contact with females that's all you'll see you won't see the uh actual stuff that you see in prison because prison's a whole different whole different ball game <laughs> uh but anyway like i said i was just sitting there and getting the words getting, getting the word in and everything and even getting tears in my eyes and then I just kept getting distracted I know they say that's the devil distracting you but also that's them distracting you also I mean how can you sit there and listen to all that and to try, try to take it in and you sit there and literally see it all around you holding hand the feet, women holding hands Touching each, touching each other on the legs, giggling, laughing and cutting up. It ain't about that. When you when you go to a when you go to a like a let's say what would you call that like a certain fellowship or anything like that is what I'm trying to say. I mean just anything, anything to do with church whatsoever. I'm sorry, my dad's texting me about his vehicle <laughs> we've been using it to um move our stuff move my stuff in and out or not in and out but anyway uh yes th these things have to quit i mean nobody can literally get their get what they need out of church because of these things that are happening and they're getting worse i mean people are only going to church for those reasons I mean, there's a, a what the Muslim Muslim service. There are um, okay. There's there's not just it's not just black Muslims in in a prison now. There's black Muslims. There's Mexican Muslims. There's Indi Indian Muslims. There's Chinese Muslims. There's I mean, uh, white Muslims. They're all. I mean, they're going to these Muslim churches also, and they're they're literally doing it only. They're only doing it. And they're supposed to keep their head covered up and everything. 
you get an actual thing. Now that's the only time you can have something over your hair at all times is if you're a Muslim. And that's, I mean, literally it's approved by the warden and everything. And these women, these other ones don't even use it. And there's, you're supposed to. I'm not, I can't remember exactly why or, you know, they do that or whatever, but um, I can't, at the t right now, anyway. But um, anyway, uh, these women who actually go to the Muslim services, we actually saw them. We was coming back from school one day and they were doing their Muslim service in the uh, visitation center. When we were coming in to do our strip search, we, we got strip search going to, uh, going to church, going out of church, going to school, coming back from school. I mean, we all went, we kept getting that over and over again because there were so many thing, drugs and everything coming in and out of the prison. And it was still going on to the day I left. I mean, they just kept on having the shakes down, shakedowns and everything. But um, anyway, uh, when we was there in that, in that line, when they was doing Muslim service, I saw two or three girls that literally must have just signed up for it because they wasn't Muslims three days before that. But they were in there, and I, me and this two girls were talking about it. We sit there, literally saw. I mean, you can't not miss it. It's like right in your face. The girl had her hand on another girl's leg, rubbing it and going, trying to go up her leg. And I was like, really? I mean, why do people? You can't do this now. I mean, really? I mean. I mean, I understand people's got their own things, and you, you say, you know, yeah, you let it go when you're in prison. You have to let it go. I mean, you're not just going to walk up to someone and say, hey, you need to stop doing that. That's disrespectful. I mean, it'd be nice if you could say something like that, but, I mean, let's get real. It's prison. You can't do that. But, anyway, because <laughs> if you did, it'd be a big old, big scene, a big... A whole lot of mess happening but I just wanted to bring the subject up because it's a really big thing especially in women's prisons and I want to thank you too Josh for giving me the idea of this um, I'm not gonna take a full credit for this because I seen you had that on your um, one of your videos and I did watch it and it was good and I wanted to bring out the way it is in the women's prisons and uh like i said you know uh would it does need to be addressed and i hope one day that somebody can actually um do something about that and i i, I kind of feel that sometimes that and I, that's just my feelings i feel like sometimes the people who come there for the not not the church services but the muslim ones because it's all men. There's no women. The the men who come there to teach it, it's only, it's only men. There's no women at all. And I really feel sometimes, and that's just my opinion, y'all. I mean, everybody's got opinions. And in my opinion, I really feel that that those men are actually liking what they see. And they don't care. And and I hate to say that, but I really feel that. And it ha that happens. And it's gonna, it's going to happen, no matter. I mean, no matter what, things, really bad things like that happen all the time, and it's gonna keep on happening until somebody does something about it. But that's all I had to say today. I had to bring that up. Um, like I said, I watched that video of his, and it made me. I ha I had to say something about it. It is a big thing in in, in prison, really big thing. And anyway. Um, I still, like I said, I still got some more things I'm working on at the present moment for y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy this video and, and understand what I'm saying when it comes to um, the word or going to church or whatever in prison or in jail is very important if you're wanting to change your life around and start over. It's really important to actually be able to listen to it and comprehend and actually um, just pay attention and not have, be distracted by evil, just put it that way. Um, but anyway, 
I hope you all enjoyed this and hope you understood everything that I was saying or at least, you know, a little bit of it. But I have more to come, so please stay tuned for the my other videos coming up soon. And um, I'm going to try to bring y'all one at least every day, if not every other day. I'm going to start bringing more videos up. Um, I still can't go live yet. I need help with that. If anybody can help think of anything, please comment below if, what you think about the video also. And some more uh, ideas on another video, please comment below. Please comment. And I really appreciate everything. Um, everybody, I, I've noticed your comments and everything. And I really, um, and on my Facebook ball, <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate everything everybody said about my videos and everything and my follow my subscribers and everything and I, th I want to thank y'all very much for everything you've, you've said and I hope everyone has a nice day night or wherever you're at when you are when you're watching this so anyway thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button y'all there's more to come and like please like this video if you like it and if you don't you don't you know get nothing about that but anyway please like share don't you don't have to worry about sharing but please like and comment please comment more ideas and I will do them if you have any suggestions or requests let me know and I'll do it so anyway thank you so much for watching and please like, share, and subscribe, and peace and love. Bye.